Hello, in today's video, I'm going to be talking over me building this time lapse. If you can see, I'm first starting out by building a small area to begin with, with a two conveyor belts. You can see my build process is build now, decorate later, which you will see my decoration skills can show up later in the build. If you look at how I'm building, it may look pretty similar, because this section that I'm building right now, it looks similar to the section in the map Hip Parade. As you can see with the pendulums swinging back and forward over a, over a pit with conveyor belts taking it back up. And all that's well and dandy. As I finish this section, I set up the next section which has slime slides. And as you can see, slime slides are really fun to use. And I use them a good bit in this map. Now I'm just setting up a bouncer, getting a position right, perfect height, and then I'm gonna use another slime slide and I'm gonna figure out what I'm gonna put. It. So I'm gonna separate them and then I'm using a padded beam to separate them and now I'm making sure that the yeet in between actually works. To make the padded beams eat better obstacles, I put spinning bars inside of them. And for right now, my idea was to make a short level, easy, and I had put some obstacles on this slime slide, like these bumps, and for now I put a finish line. Now that's me place testing it, seeing how fun it is, but after dying, funny enough, I add checkpoints, just to make sure that the level actually flows better. Next up, I actually start adding in some design elements to the level, like creating different layers, adding in colors to the level so that it's not just basic blue all around. This is an easy thing to do to any of your levels, so if you're also looking for a way, a tutorial on how to make better levels, this time lapse will show you a lot of tricks, tips and tricks on how to make them. Height is also another big factor, so maybe adding a layer down or layer up to your floors might help your floors feel better and adding different colors to your floors might make them feel more unique to one another instead of having them all be basic blue that starts us off. Now here I see that my ending to this level that I set up doesn't really feel right so I then add in an extra fan section so that we can finish the level. And then I get the yeet just right, it's all good. I make sure that the colors of these slimes are all great. I make sure that they're pretty much symmetrical to each other, because symmetry is also a really key component in making levels. Because if it's because asymmetrical levels are sometimes good, but it's better to keep your your obstacles symmetrical. Now as I finish adding color to the floors, I see that the level is really fun. I find out, just play the level, figure out stuff, but now let's see what I do next. Ah, I add in these arrows, floating arrows, because like that's what a lot of basic mediatonic maps have. Like this one, this one was originally designed to be like a media tonic map that came out during the first day of creative but with newer features to make it better which is pretty much what I succeeded in doing this map looks pretty much like something that media tonic would make easy fun to play good for the easy for the player to do now I am adding some arches for some decoration and since arches are more mediatonic like. And now for this section of this orange area, I try to add a bit of texture to it by giving it a brick like texture. And I see that crisscross won't isn't the best, so I add smaller bricks in between these bigger bricks with a different color to give this place a nice texture. Now after that, I make sure that the 
there's arrows tilting into it, so that looks really good. And then I make sure that the checkpoint is good. Then I add some stickers to the wall to make the wall look better, like uh, arrows and then and then like some stars, and of course my trademark, an egg. Now that there's a new egg sticker in the game, all of my new levels that I'm going to create will at features at least one egg sticker. No matter what theme it is, there will be at least one egg sticker in the level. If you know what I'm, you, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Now, during this area of testing, I'm changed the color of the stickers a little bit, make it a fun, better looking area. And then, after playtesting it a bit more, I gain an idea to get some slot, some invisible barriers, so that you don't have to fall forever when you're dying. And my idea was, after I put down the invisible barriers, to let them sit on the same layer, and I would make them thick and figure out what exactly I would put over it. So then I decide that I'll add a red platform underneath it, and that changed my idea from a basic mediatonic level to a lava themed level. So now I'm starting to change it up, make some volcanoes, and I just put all of these volcanoes all around the level. And they're all simple builds, not that expensive. And my goal was to just make sure that no one could touch these volcanoes, so I covered them in illumination zones so that no one could like cheese it by going on top or exploring on it. Then I make the land volcano area bigger, and Next up, I decide to add some cute smoke to volcanoes to make them look better and more have them have more movement in them. Because, like, honestly, having volcanoes with the smoke definitely makes the volcanoes look better, feel better, and it makes the atmosphere a lot better. Now, as you can see, that wasn't enough for me, so I decided to make a real big volcano in the background that would have a lava waterfall coming out of it. So then I set up the volcano, I attempt to make some humongous spring out lava, and I cover it all up, but then when I look at it, it didn't really look good. So I just made this area thing smaller, added some floating lava drops that look good, so then I added a couple more of these huge volcanoes, changed different sizes, and gave them a lot of different sizes of smoke to make them all look good. So now that I'm done with that, I thought maybe it would be time to add more stickers. Like more stickers to make floating lava fumes. And these lava fumes would be all over the level so that when I play it, it looks like there's lava spouting everywhere. And honestly it turned out to look good. I also sped up those conveyors so now they're faster. And I made sure that the slime platforms now dip into the lava. I moved some stuff out of the way. And then I decided to make this wall better looking. So I added some stickers. Like I'm just trying to fiddle and adjust it to get it just right. But it finally got it. I'm trying to move these back. And then I add a second layer and give them stickers that really cool two textured look to them. Next up, I go ahead and make this have a cool ring around it so that it's not just a random floating tool. And then as I go, I play test it again. I do a lot of play tests to make sure that the level is good and looks fun. And in this play test, I realized that these rocks need to be changed. Now there are rocks, and I have to add some more arrows to this section. I add a cute bean as well, and now the level is really good looking right now. So the next thing I need to do to make this level even better is I shrink this down. And my idea is to add pillars of flames to hold it up. 
Then I make sure that the finish line looks good. I need to make it a little bit bigger. And then I give the finish line a custom look to it. I make a custom lava themed finish line. And then I add an egg into the lava themed finish line just for the final touch. Now, there's a f it's almost done. I just got a few more things to do. Like I'm trying to figure out exactly what I have to do to make this map good. And then I play test it, see what's going on. I'm failing a little bit. I check it out. And I realize that it's pretty good looking. I just adjust some things here and there. I make sure that the finish line looks good. And I get an idea. My idea is simple. Make a super big volcano. Not like a super mega volcano, but like make it big. And then I add in like that topping to it. I add in some smoke to make it look super good. And now it looks incredible. So as you can see, here's the finished product. The level is only 12,003 budget, which is hard to believe because of how good it looks. You don't need to use all 200 budget to make a good looking level. Look at this thing. Look at the volcano, it looks incredible. Now, you can see, this is the final playtest. As you can see, the level looks great, the colors are nice, and you can look at the swing pendulums, the axes, the textures look gorgeous. And to think that this started from a default looking level that Mediatonic could have made, which now turned into a beautifully lava themed design level with a huge emphasis on design and lava and niceness. It's incredible. This map is Volcano Tumble and the map code is gonna be shown up in publishing and 81999369 Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.